For real this time, guys. What is in the box? For those of you that know, you probably see that little symbol there and or can read who it's from. Let's open it up and take a look. Did y'all figure it out? No? Today we're looking at the Prometheus Design Works AR Hoodie DRB Staff Edition. A mouthful, right? I don't even know what that means. I know what a couple of the acronyms mean, but I don't know why they labeled it that. And boy, I could tell by pulling it out of the box that I'm gonna like this jacket. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So, as part of the name, the AR portion of AR Hoodie DRB Staff Edition. AR means always ready, according to the Prometheus Design Works folks. DRB stands for the Danger Ranger Bear. So if you're familiar with the Prometheus Design Works folks, they have a, a, a line of, of kind of gear and clothing and caricatures called the Danger Ranger Bear, which is pretty cool actually. So it's a pretty neat little design. Okay, the material is 9504 polyester fleece polar tech with a DWR coating. The fleece itself is, it's, it's very heavy. It's a, it's a really kind of heavy fleece. I'm not really sure like the actual pile. I know there's different ratings for the pile and the thickness of the fleece, but I'm not really sure what this one is, but it is a, it is a heavier duty fleece for sure. Let's go down through top down of the jacket itself and just do a quick walkthrough. So you kind of have your normal sweatshirt. This jacket is designed to kind of be like a casual athletic sweatshirt type of fit. Not necessarily a full on jacket, but really kind of giving you that kind of throwback feel of that jacket, but with some kind of updated features that make it a lot more usable, I think. So your, your hood pulls are just standard, like almost like shoelace pulls. So nothing really special there. Your zippers are, mm, I don't know if they're YKK or not. Yeah, they are YKK. So you have zipper, you have a zipper garage at the top so the zipper's not pressed up against your face. And the nice thing is that you have the lower zipper also so you can go and split it from the bottom up. That is nice if you are a concealed handgun carrier so you can get to your weapon a little faster or give you a little bit of that flexibility. I dig that. There are some very basic zipper pulls. They're just, again, like a very thin string kind of material on each of the zipper pulls. So nothing really special there, but again, makes it, makes it easier to grab if you have gloves on or off. The pockets are kind of your normal, almost like your kangaroo pockets. So they're, they're very similar to as if you had a, again, your kind of normal style sweatshirt pockets. The nice thing with these pockets is that they have dummy cords inside each of the pockets, which is a nice feature, a nice touch that they did to the design with a little loop on it so you can attach you know, keys to it or anything else that you don't want to lose. The pockets are open, so they are not zipper closed. If you took a look at my Go Ruck Midwhite Challenge Jacket, review, you know that I like zippers on my pockets. These don't have zippers, but the dummy cords are good to keep stuff retained, so I'll take that over nothing at all. The waist is not adjustable. Uh, again, I like adjustability with things, but um, I'm not going to ding them on it until I try it on and see kind of how the fit is. It, it, it's sold as an athletic cut, so it may, it may not need that pull at the bottom to tighten it up, but uh, I'll, I'll try it on here in a second. Okay, on each of the sleeves, you have patch panels, so you can put some slaps on there, whatever patches you like. Each of the sleeves has a nice panel of Velcro. Um, so I wanna say that that looks to be probably about six by three or four inches, so a good portion um, size there. Your cuffs, no adjustability, so they're open and they do have the cuff 
uh, thumb holes on them. So again, that is another nice touch. The hood, uh, they call it their major league hood. I don't, again, I don't know what that means. MLH is what they refer to it as on their website. I don't, I don't know what's different from this hood than any other hood. The only adjustability again are these shoestrings here, which again, it at least lets you tighten it up around your face if you need to. The size is large. The color is called Machine Mineral Gray. And after looking at it on the website, it looks more of a gray color. But when you see it in person, it almost looks like foliage. So the lighting on the camera kind of makes it look gray. But in person, it looks like a foliage, kind of foliage green color, which um, I like it. I would like the if it was a your kind of your standard slate gray too. I, I, I kind of dig the color. Most of my gear is in black, so I decided to kind of switch it up a little bit. The stitching on the jacket is very nice quality. It is extremely nice, and I'll do a a zoom in of this stitching so you can kind of take a look at it, but. You can tell from the, the jacket build, right when I pulled it out of the box and out of the packaging, it is a quality piece of gear and I am digging it so far. I, I like the style of this jacket. If you're not familiar with Triple Lot Design, I think that this jacket is, it's not necessarily in competition, but it is another option to their Ranger, fleece jacket that they have. So they have Triple Lot Design, Tad, if you're familiar. They have a Ranger LT jacket that is very similar in style, but it is a little more tactical looking. So it has, you know, zippers on the sleeves, zippers on the, on the sides here. So it's not as casual looking as this. It's a little more tactical looking. And I really like this design over their Ranger jacket because I was going for a little bit more of the casual look. I prefer to blend in a bit more than, you know, having that kind of tactical tactical look to me. So, okay, let's, uh, let's try it on. I'll do a quick walk around, you know the deal, the normal routine, and then I'll um, wrap up the video. Yes, my dudes, I like this jacket. And I'm not even gonna put it back on the hanger to wrap this video up. I'm gonna leave it on probably for the rest of the day because it is comfortable. And it really fits actually very well. You don't need to have adjustable cuffs or adjustable waist for this thing to really fit well. I could see myself wearing this casually or as a mid-layer underneath a shell. It appears to be, again, very well made. I really like the jacket. I'm glad I bought it and I'm glad that I'm sharing this review with you all and hopefully you'll go out and buy it. If you're familiar with any of the Prometheus Design Works gear, you know that it typically sells out fast, especially some of the highly sought after uh, items. This jacket, I believe the first one was made in a black. I think it was called like Sith Lord Black, which is actually another pretty cool thing with those folks. They have some pretty cool names for things and I, I typically dig little details like that. So the black sold out really fast. This was released, I believe, this week. This color, the machine, mineral machine gray. Again, it's more of a foliage cover. I dig it. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for helping make this channel grow. I am now up to five subscribers, so yes. We're getting there. I'm good to keep on putting content out, trying to put some things in motion so that you all can get some decent reviews on gear that is interesting and things that I really am interested in. Hopefully you all are looking at some of the same items and this is helping you out. So with that being said, let's wrap it up. If you are interested in gear, if you are interested in activity, if you're interested in an event, 
you just want to get outside and try something new, go do it. You can wait for me to try to do a review on it, but if you don't want to wait, just go do it anyways. Scratch your itch. Do something.